Hello everybody. In this lesson, I will discuss grade 12 probability, more specifically the fundamental counting principle. This is lesson 1 of 5. The best way to describe the fundamental counting principle is by way of an example. Now let's do an example to illustrate the fundamental counting principle. A meal can be made up as follows. There's two choices. Now under choice one, you find fish, chicken or pork. And then choice two, it will be chips, rice or pup or vegetables or salad. And then the question says, how many different meals can be made using these choices? And then, according to the fundamental counting principle, there are, for choice one, there's three choices, and choice two, there's five. So you will say three times five is 15 different possible meals. Example two. Marge takes Bart and Lisa out for dinner after passing Madrid. The following choices are given on the menu. For starters, there is a choice between soup, nachos, wings, salad, mushrooms. So there's five. For mains, there's chicken, burger or steak. In other words, three. And then for dessert, there's cake ice cream, waffle or malva pudding. There's four. Now the question. Lisa only wants a starter and mains. From how many different combinations can she order? Therefore, according to the fundamental counting principle, there's five choices for starters and three for mains. Therefore, five times three is 15, 15 different combinations. Question 2. Marge only wants mains and a dessert. From how many different combinations can she order? So when you go to your summary there, to your menu, you will see that the mains, there's three choices, times dessert is four. Therefore, three times four, there's 12 different combinations. Number 3. Bart wants to order from all three courses. From how many different combinations can he order? I think it's very clear. 5 times 3 times 4 is equal to 60 different combinations. Before we continue, have you subscribed yet? And you can also visit my website, onlinemats.co.za. Also feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the examples. Example 3. A doggy gift pack can be made up as follows by using four different items. Item 1. Choose one soft toy out of four different toys. Item 2. Choose one chewy out of seven different types. Item three, choose one bone out of ten different bones. Item four, choose one blanket out of three different types. And then the question, how many different gift packs can be made? In other words, there's four times seven times ten times 3 equals these 840 different gift packs. Example 4. A website's security system requires a user to choose a security password code. The code consists of four digits. How many different codes can be chosen in number 1? The system allows for repetition of digits. So how you will go about doing this one is make a little table or sometimes we refer to these as pigeonholes. 
Now, your code consists of four digits. So in other words, in your first pigeonhole, there's a choice of 10 digits. In the second pigeonhole, remember, uh, the system allows for repetition. So therefore, in the second pigeonhole, you will find 10 choices. In the third one, there's also 10 choices. And then for the fourth digit, there's also 10 choices. Therefore, according to the fundamental counting principle, the number of different codes will be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is either 10 to the power of 4, or you can say 10,000. Question 2. The system does not allow for repetition of digits. So again, you make your little pigeonhole with spaces for four digits. In the first space, you have a choice of 10 digits. But then in the second space, now the system does not allow for repetition. Therefore, there you will only have nine choices. And then in the third space, now there's eight choices. Can you see? They become one less. And then in the last space, there's seven choices. Then, according to the fundamental counting principle, the number of different codes will be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, which is 5,040 different codes. Example 5. A Wi-Fi password can consist of numbers and letters in the format XXX. Y, Y, X, where X represents a letter and Y represents a digit. Question 1. How many different passwords are possible? So what you do is you make a little pigeonhole for yourself. And there you will see uh, in the first line, there's your placeholders. The, this is the format in which the password uh, will be X, 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 Y, Y, X, and then your number of options. Now, do you agree X represents a letter and the alphabet consists of 26? Therefore, in your little pigeonhole under X, there will be 26. The second X, there will also be 26, and then the third X, also 26. And then there, right at the end, you also find X, so there you will fill in 26. Then Y represents a digit. Therefore, underneath Y in the little pigeonhole, there's 10 choices and 10 choices. Therefore, how many different passwords are possible? Now you can say it's 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 26 and that is 45,697,600. Question 2 says, how many different passwords are possible if the vowels are excluded? Now, again, there's your little pigeonhole. Remember, the vowels are a, E, I, O, U. Therefore, your possibilities now suddenly changes to 26 minus 5 vowels is equal to 21. Therefore, in the place of X, there's 21. Again, in X's place, 21. In X's place, 21. And right at the end, in X's place, 21. They said nothing about the digits, therefore, in Y's place, there's 10, and in Y's place, there's 10. Therefore, according to the fundamental counting principle, the number of different passwords will be 21 times 21 times 21 times 10 times 10 times 21, and that number is 19,448,100. Question 3. 
how many different passwords are possible if no letters or numbers may be repeated. Therefore, there's your pigeonhole now suddenly. In the first X's place, you can substitute 26 for the 26 letters of the alphabet. But then, no repetition is allowed. Therefore, where you see the second X, there will only be 25 possibilities. On the third X, there's 24 possibilities. Can you see? They become one less. And then right at the end for that X, there's only 23 possibilities. And then on the letter, uh, on the numbers, where you find the first Y, there's 10 possibilities. But numbers may also not be repeated. Therefore, on your second Y, there's only 9 possibilities. And then the answer, the number of different passwords will be 26 times 25 times 24 times 10 times 9 times 23 and that will be 32,292,000. In the next lesson, I will discuss factorials and arrangements. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to that lesson.